Hey guys, I'm Lou and in today's video I will be reviewing The Beautiful by Renée Adier. This book is the star of a four book series. I bought this book originally because my best friend Emily recommended this book to me and she mentioned a few times that this book was good so I was sold, I did not need any more convincing. Emily also got an advanced reader copy at Yalk so she was able to give me these opinions before this book came out so Ever since it came out it's been on my radar and I bought it quite soon after it released and I was quite proud of myself that I read it soon after its release. <laughs> Before I get into the summary and the non-spoiler review don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Depop where I've started to put a lot of my books on there because I need space and it would mean a lot to me if you guys would check it out if you have the time. And the summary is as follows. In 1872 New Orleans is a city ruled by the dead. But to 17-year-old Celine Rousseau, New Orleans provides her with a refuge after she's forced to flee her life as a dressmaker in Paris. Taken in by the sisters of the Ursuline convent along with six other girls, Celine quickly becomes enamoured with the vibrant city, from the music to the food to the soirees, and especially to danger. She soon becomes embroiled in the city's glitzy underworld. Known as the Court of Lions, after catching the eye of the group leaders, the enigmatic Sebastian Saint Germain, when the body of one of the girls from the convent is found in the lair of the Court of Lions, Celine battles her attraction to him and suspicions about Sebastian's guilt along with the shame of her horrible secret. When more bodies are discovered, each crime more gruesome than the last, Celine and New Orleans becomes gripped by the terror of a serial killer on the loose. One Celine is sure has set in his sights, and who may even be the young man who has stolen her heart. As the murders continue to go unsolved, Celine takes matters into her own hands, and soon uncovers something even more shocking. An age-old feud from the darkest creatures of the underworld reveals a truth about Celine. I feel like that was a really long summary. <laughs> I feel like I should mention before I go into the review that this is the first book that I've read from Renee. I feel like this could potentially influence my opinion seeing as this is my first encounter with her writing style. The writing of the book was good. The writing fully immersed me into this world and I really liked the descriptions of character actions. It was one of the rare moments where I could visualise what the characters were doing most of the time I can't. I feel like that's because this story does it really clearly but also in a way where it's not an instruction manual. Most of the time I can't imagine what characters are doing especially in battle scenes even though it's written out right in front of me but this book I was able to. This book was also very descriptive but not in an off-putting way. It's very beautifully done to the point where you can smell the food because of the descriptions and you can imagine what the characters are wearing but it's not like you're being overwhelmed by the descriptions. It's done a perfect amount where it immerses you in the world but it's not like you're getting a complete inventory of every food. It's done at the perfect moments where the reader can appreciate the beautiful descriptive language. And I know Renee is known for her more descriptive language but in this case, for this book, I felt like it worked really well and this is coming from me as a reader who doesn't really tend to enjoy descriptive work and I actually enjoyed it in this book. This story is told through the perspective of Celine but it's also told from the perspective of the killer which leads to some dramatic irony. I liked the way that the story was told because it added more depth and it enables the twists to be more shocking and there was even one twist which we knew was coming because we were told from the perspective of the killer and yet I was still surprised when it happened. I was just shocked even though I knew it was coming which makes me appreciate the writing. We just had no idea how it was going to play out. However this book does focus more on the characters and the description of the setting and scenery than it does on the plot. The positives is that it does provide you with a great atmosphere 
and perfect setting that as a reader you feel like you're in the French Quarter of New Orleans. The negatives is that the pacing is quite slow and it does have an impact in the overall plot of the story. The book does have a good plot but it is slowly drawn out and it wasn't until page 150 that I felt like the pace started to increase and this book does feel like the setup to the beginning of a series. This is not necessarily a bad thing but there was a lot of build up, there was a lot of information dumping, it was building a world. I also did feel like the ending was unresolved. You can't read this book as a standalone and I know that can annoy some people. Sometimes people would like to start a series but not feel like they have to continue in order to know what happens at the end. There is at least I would say 5% of this book which will end up being in book 2 I think because of how unresolved this book is. It's an essentially a cliffhanger but I prefer more clear cut cliffhangers if that even makes sense. But I understand that cliffhangers do work well in a series to engage readers into picking up the next book and it worked on me because now I want to know what happens in book 2 and book 3 and book 4. I did enjoy all of the characters the story mainly focuses on Celine and Bastion and a few drops of knowledge of the other people. It makes sense that Celine and Bastion are the main focus of this book but I would have liked to have had more information about the other people in this book and the lives which they lead but I think we'll see that in later books. But that doesn't justify how weak these characters are in this book but I also felt like the characters should have been worked on more in this book even if they will be developed in the later books. The character which I am most intrigued about is Odette and I do hope we get to know her better. We got to know her quite a bit in this book but I still felt like she was underdeveloped and I think she's hinted to be bisexual because she does say that she prefers the company of women but I don't know if that means that she doesn't enjoy the company of men. <laughs> so this book does have LGBT plus elements and I don't see that as a spoiler because it's not a core part of the story at all. In regards to the romance I was not completely sold. It felt a bit like insta-lust because it wasn't love when the characters met. It was just Celine appreciating Bastian's attractiveness and then Celine telling Sebastian not to fall in love with her. I feel like I've called Sebastian Bastian and they are the same people. Don't worry. And this book sort of felt like a bad k-drama in terms of the romance only in terms of the romance. Especially towards the end with all the obstacles they both had to go through. And talking of k dramas, there's even Korean in this book. Celine is half Korean but it's not explicitly said. There's just a scene where Celine is remembering her mother and her mother speaks Korean and I understood the Korean because I'm learning Korean and I felt very good that I got the hint. And fun fact, I didn't know Renee was Korean until I read this book. I am very intrigued to see where the romance will go especially after the ending of this book because it completely changes the game. This book made me excited to read her older books. Before I was hesitant due to a lot of people that I trust not really enjoying her previous books but knowing how much I enjoyed this book makes me more likely to pick up her other books and even though I have mentioned a few flaws in this book it has joined the list of one of my favourites of 2019 so I don't see those flaws as the be all and end all I accept them for what they are and I still really appreciate this book and I am super excited to see what will happen in the future Vampires are back baby. Overall I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. I think that it was a very strong beginning to a series and I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're a person like me who loves vampires and I am really excited to see them make a comeback in YA. I do think the strongest points of this book outweigh the weakest points and that's why I loved it so much. It's a fun entertaining read. So that was my review of The Beautiful. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my Depop store and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!